In this video, I will tell you my experience working as an assistant DOP in an Indonesian horror feature called Tujuh Dari or Seven Angels. First, I should tell you how I landed this job in the first place. My friend came across this notice in her friend's Instagram story. Knowing I am studying in film and TV, she sent it to me. So I contacted the assistant producer straight away. And I got myself an interview a couple weeks later. Instead, it was not really an interview at all. Turns out I am already accepted for the job. And what they called an interview is just asking me to help them buy and rent gears in preparation for the production. On the first two days of production, we're just shooting in such scenes around Melbourne City and a scene where they're having an interview with SBS Radio. Before I started to roam, every time the dinner bell I could hear my daddy yell. On the 5th of March, we traveled to Ballarat to shoot a bar scene where the girls met Mark, which is played by Will, who turns out to be the nephew of Jill from library. After we finished the shoot, we went back to Melbourne to rest for the night and drove straight away to Ararat in the next morning. Okay guys, kita udah sampai di Ararat! Halo guys, di Ararat! Hai! Hai! Finally! Hai! Yeah. Ararat, Re! When we arrived in Ararat, we did a location scout. We went to Arodel Instant Asylum where we have most of the shooting while the actresses rest for the day. Kita sedang di daerah Ararat atau di sini lagi di Lunatic Hospital Asylum yang sudah tutup gitu yang bakalan kami untuk shoot tujuh bidadari. Hari ini kita belum syuting, hari ini kita lagi cek lokasi, nurunin barang uh, Rencana siang ini habis makan siang kita mau rehearsal dulu Sekalian bawa keliling semua artisnya Untuk familiar sama tempatnya This place is uh, creepy <laughs> The next day, we started shooting It was the start of the greatest three week I ever had Answer Hello, Indonesia. Mm. Well, I do believe to my soul you're out of control and it's rock and roll. Oh, baby, don't be running wild. The shoot went so well most of the time, but because we only got about 15 crews on set, most of us needed to take multiple responsibilities. For me, I need to set up lights, the smoke machine, set up cameras, lens, run power cables, charge batteries, and shoot behind the scenes footage. So it was pretty hectic. Luckily, on the third day, there was another assistant coming, so we can share the responsibilities. Since I was the most experienced on the camera department compared to him, he took control of the power problems and I dealt with the cameras. Mr. 
Issa Yusuf is the kind of director who wants a lot of coverage for the same scene. So having two cinematographers and two camera really helps with decreasing the amount of setup times and retakes. He also given me the chance to operate the camera a couple of times so I can practice being a cinematographer on set. The cinematographers, Satya and Faro, were really helpful on giving me pointers and teaching me about camera and lighting. I took the chance to learn as much as I can, asking questions and practicing all the time. And because their room is next to mine at the hotel, I took the chance to chat and learn from them whenever I can. At night when we finish shooting, after dinner, and preparing for tomorrow's shoot. Back to me. I'm traveling on the stairway. No way, no way, no way. No way. that you hold the key. Well, I saw you last night with another, and the tears so freely fell as I held her tight. Traveling on the stairway. No way, wishing, wishing you'd come back to me. I think the biggest difference between an Australian production and an Indonesian production on this budget is how they organize the schedule, uh, crews, and how they handle safety precautions. Sometimes we do need to do like dangerous things to get the shot that we need But even like when there's no harness or wires to keep me safe When I'm high up shooting, there's always crews around making sure to keep us safe Like the way they can do Well I know I thought I could leave you I never thought I'd be so blue <laughs> I learned a lot during production. I also got a lot of useful networks to help me start in the industry. We are all like a big family. We had fun together, and most of the nights we even have dinner together in one of the actresses' room, which was really good for bonding between crews and cast. Because we got the editor on site, he can edit the footage straight away after we're done with the day shooting. This allows us to have a rough cut ready for screening at PCA before the wrap dinner. Yeah. 
Dan semua pemain di Bidadari memang luar biasa. Semoga film di Bidadari sukses. After the cruise and cast went back to Indonesia. The director and editor stayed back to fix the rough cut with the producers. Because they are staying at the apartment across my place, they invited me to give some insights to make the cut better. I never feel so close with directors and producers in a brick production like this. The Jibida Dari or Seven Angels has been a great experience for me. I learned so much and getting to know people who works in the industry back home will be really helpful for my future starting in the industry. And cut! Cut! <laughs> 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 <laughs>